The Fallout New Vegas multiplayer mod and its main server have both just been updated to version 4, with improved role-playing, bug fixes, player housing, and faction base building. In this video, we'll be looking at all the new improvements and changes to this legendary mod. One such improvement is the added dropped item sync, which means players can now drop and share their items with each other from their inventory, a welcomed ability, which also opens up all kinds of new role-playing possibilities from running your own store to shaking down other players for some extra gear. I just dropped I just dropped you pick it up. New RP rules have also been introduced to the main server. Like now, when creating your character, you must have a proper first and last name. It's also encouraged to mostly speak in character when interacting with other players. Hey there, Courier. Do you mind telling me how to get to Novak? There's a new player housing system added with interior base building, allowing players to buy and own their own permanent homes on the server. The way this works is, while playing, you must find a house around the Mojave Wasteland that has a special label at the door. If the house is for sale, you can purchase it with Sparks, the in-game currency that you can accumulate while playing. The set price for a house is 10,000 Sparks. You can withdraw it either from the Mr. Handy bank teller in Good Springs or the bank teller at the Gunrunner kiosk. Once you have the money, you can go and purchase your new home. Using slash enter while standing in front of the door will allow you to enter your private home. And by using slash build, you can furnish the interior any way you want. You can also lock your door to keep thieves out or put it up for sale to resell your property to another player. Another major change is the addition of faction HQ base building. If you're the leader or an officer of one of the in-game factions, you now have the ability to purchase a building permit and build structures in your faction's main base. This is the only place you can build and you can only construct specific item sets in the server's building list. If the base is captured by another faction, all the buildings will be destroyed. And same as with the player housing, the building items also cost sparks to deploy in place. The mod's creator has also added a new report system for the players who abuse base building, with punishments ranging from simple warnings to more severe permabans. Death punishments have been changed for non-PvP related deaths. When dying from NPCs, you will be loaded back to your last made save, with all your gear and inventory intact. But if you die from another player, you will lose your save and wake up in Doc Mitchell's house in Good Springs. Any sparks that you were carrying with you will be transferred over to the other player. Fast travel is also available now, just like in the single player. Players that are not part of any faction can create their own group and play with their friends as long as you've reached level 10. Major bug fixes have been done with this new update, like player kill tracking has been improved and it is now more precise. A fix to a crash problem has been made that happened when players would loot dead bodies. Game memory management used by the mod is now tracked and streamlined to reduce memory leaks. An optimization has been made for procedures that load NVMP so that the players can directly inject and start the game, instead of waiting for procedures and function calls to be cached, which should now make the mod more more stable and reduce the amount of crashing. Most of these bug fixes and improvements will help stabilize the mod even more and its performance. Look at that, we got both cook cooks. The launcher has also received some updates, like now, trusted servers will be placed at the top of the server list, and a new refresh button has been added to update server statistics and player count. What do you guys think of this new update? Let me know in the comments below, and thanks for watching.